Hey guys, Small Kiwi here, back for another 60 second Dota 2 guide, this time taking a look at basic warding. Warding in Dota 2 is all about gaining an advantage over your enemies by getting vision of the battlefield. The beauty of wards is that they let you see your enemies without them knowing they've been spotted, and this allows you to set up ganks on lone heroes, or to avoid ganks by catching sight of your opponents ahead of time. There are more advanced warding techniques, but for this video we'll focus on basic placement of observer wards. One of the most important areas to maintain vision of is this spot. Placing a ward here gives you vision of the entrance to the Dyer's Ancient, the entrance to Roshan, the bottom rune, and one entrance to the Radiant Jungle. If there's one ward you should try to keep up, especially in mid to late game, it's this spot. Early game, if you are bottom lane, this is a good spot for a ward, because it will give you vision of the bottom rune and ganks coming from the Radiant Jungle. Other important ward spots are here for vision of top rune and the entrance to Dyer's Jungle, and these locations for the excellent vision range within the enemy's jungle. That's the basic how and why of warding. If you found this quick guide helpful, then be sure to subscribe to us here at Pay to Lose Gaming so you can stay tuned for more advanced topics. We regularly release Dota 2 videos on all the heroes and concepts in the game, so check back often. You can click any of the video thumbnails to check out our other guides, or leave a comment below letting us know what other ward locations you like to use and when. Thanks for watching!